Rock Lee is a heavily pressure based rushdown character with strong defensive options, good damage and decent mixup, but lower than average range. Lee can be played in a variety of ways but is still a straightforward fighter through and through. Before we start the guide, one of the unique things about Lee that's necessary to know is his access to gates. Lee opens gates by pressing 4x with both upgrading Lee significantly while also being invincible when activated, allowing them to be used defensively to avoid pressure. The changes that come up when you first open gates include an air throw, the ability to teleport out of run with running A, higher damage on every hit, higher damage overall, a new animation on 5x super, and last but not least, the great 2A, also known as the Leaf World Wind, which is much faster and with a lower end lag, which allows you to combo off of it. Lee undergoes more changes when entering in the, into the third gate, but those will be covered in a later section. Lee boasts some incredibly strong normals. His standing jab, or 5B, is the fastest in the game with an 11 frames startup, allowing him to beat out opponents who try to challenge with buttons and toss out fast poke in neutral. Instead of a weapon throw, his standing A or 5A is a mid strike with a big hitbox and very useful for pressuring the opponents on wake up as a meaty, as it leads to the same strings and pressure as his 5B, and if the opponent is facing away from you, It'll turn them back around so you can get a full combo. Lee's 4B has a decent amount of armor on it, gives a good combo linking back into his 5B strings, and can be used to get him out of a lot of situations. But be mindful of its very short range and high recovery on whiff. Lee's AB is a jumping double kick that can be used in the corner for juggles and it can also be done out of 6B. 2B, 8A, 6A are all pretty bad moves which should not be used in most situations. When in second gate, Lee's 2A becomes one of his main neutral pokes as well, as it's relatively fast, low hitting move with good range that gives a free combo and is plus on block. It is also your go-to move for hitting downed opponents. Lee's 4A is a great counter with fast A-frame startup and always guarantees a hit afterwards, which some counters don't. The opponent can only K and J when they are hit by the follow attack, so 4A right into 5X is a great damage that can't be subbed, and is a great way to close out rounds with a good read. When at a distance, Lee can use his running A as a fast lunging attack when in no gates, as it is safe on block unless the opponent is against the wall. In 2G, the running A becomes a set distance teleport that can be used to quickly get behind your opponents and confuse them. Make sure to space it correctly or else you end up in front of, a, of your opponent and get punished. Be careful accidentally inputting 6A instead of running A, as that move does not teleport and will probably get you punished if you try to use it due to its long recovery. Lee's 5X Super is a standing big damage super but due to its low range and lack of active frames, isn't useful for catching people with wake up super. These will be the main buttons you'll have to take note of when playing Lee. Before we get into Lee's pressures, we have to explain Hugo cancels. Hugo cancels are a way to cancel your attack before the hitbox comes out, and only certain characters have them likely. Lee can do Hugo cancels on both his 5 BBBA and 5 BBAA string with both being useful for being much more safe on whiff and block, baiting substitutions, being sub safe and for pressuring guards which we'll get into right now. Lee's main way of pressure is through delaying parts of the strings in a way that's called stagger pressure. This can be used to create frame traps that will stop people from trying to interrupt your pressure with their own attacks. His main mix-ups on blocks are doing one or two jabs into a throw or into more hits, and you can alternate between the two to mess with your opponent's head. 
With Hyuga cancels, he can do 5 BBAAY to kick his opponents into the air and continue pressure after. Counter a defensive option they may try once in the air or wait to go into a grab to mix it up. He can also Hyuga cancel his 5 BB, BBA string to continue pressure or to go for a throw as well. Lee can also use the air grab he gains in 2nd and 3rd gate to disencourage opponents from trying to jump out of his pressure. And his 5 BB's low recovery allows him to bait and punish 4 B's easily by simply backdashing or blocking and punishing them. Most of Lee's full launching strings can also beat many characters 4 B's. But it is important to remember that all of Lee's full strings are very unsafe and are relatively easy to punish. However, all of this combined with Hyuga cancels, it can create a simple mix-up where the opponent needs to guess most of the time whether you're gonna go for a Hyuga cancel and they need to interrupt it with their own attack or if you'll do a full string and potentially punish them for trying to press the button. Lee's main bread and butter combo is 5B or 5ABA, Y cancel, 5ABA, Y cancel, 5ABAAA. This combo does a good amount of damage, can be done meterless, and doesn't require a wall or a corner like some of Lee's other high damage combos. When Lee has a meter and wants to close up a round, he can also perform 5B or 5ABA into a Y cancel into AB and then link into 5B or 5ABX on landing for an easy high damage combo into super. When close enough to a wall, Lee can juggle his opponents easily and can even juggle into his super for good damage. Or if just a bit too far to get a solid combo, you can do running B as a combo ending. Off of his standard throw, you are going to want to do 5AB delay 5BB into anything you want. You can also go for jump A after throw for a completely sub safe option. And as always, remember to stand break. Your Y cancels by tapping a direction so your combos don't get scaled and you can get maximum damage. The third gate! Gate of life! Open! We can open the third gate by doing 4x again when he has 75% chakra and the second gate is already open. When he does this, he becomes one of the scariest characters in the game. To start, his biggest change is his 5x being changed from primary lotus to hidden lotus, one of the highest damaging supers in the game that also teleports directly to the opponent's location, making not only a great super for combos, but also great to whiff punish an opponent's move or projectile, or even a predictable sub. Keep in mind the teleport itself is invincible, but there is a small window before the hitbox comes out where Lee pops out of the teleport and becomes vulnerable. Lee's damage output is also increased drastically, easily doing 60 to 70 percent, no problem without a super, and eats away at guard, breaking them easily if the opponent isn't paying very close attention, with his fully charged 4B instantly guard breaking. You can use this for easy pressure against the wall, forcing an opponent to take a hit or have their guard broken, similar to the guy's 4B Oki. On top of this, Lee gains the ability to super confirm off of every single one of his grounded attacks. His running A automatically teleports behind the opponent no matter the distance, but beware if your opponent does have their back to the wall, Lee will end up in front of him. His air throw is also upgraded to the primary Lotus with added damage from before, and Lee even gets an unblockable setup where he can do 5 BBBA and super while the opponent is up against the wall or a corner. Lee becomes an absolute beast of a character when he opens the third gate, with the only downside being the chakra cost, but for the benefits it provides, it's honestly a small price to pay. Round 2 
Rock Lee is simply put an amazing fighter with his only weakness being range and meter consumption, forcing him to play cautiously while trying to approach and find the hit against certain characters. Aside from that, he is a high damage, solid pressure and great defense from gates which also comes with an amazing upgrade mechanic. I hope you enjoyed watching and good luck with playing Rock Lee, The Leafs Village Handsome Devil and Super Clash of Ninja 4.